is up guys? Matt here with Schnees. Today we're checking out this little guy. If you haven't seen one of these before, this is a Kestrel Ballistic Weather Meter. Um, if you frequent the world of like precision shooting, long range shooters, uh, you'll probably already have seen one of these. If you haven't, I'll give you the lowdown. Um, this is my personal one. I've been using these for about three years now. Um, and basically what it does is enhance your shot confidence to, and hit probability at like, you know, distances beyond 400, 500 yards. Um, I personally use this one to hit out to a mile with the 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, and I'll explain how it kind of does all that. So first thing you do when you take it out of the box is you turn it on. And you can see it fires right up. Uh, applied Ballistics, that's like the software that it's running. Uh, very good. It's kind of the benchmark in uh, ballistic software. And right now it's in weather mode because when we were in Park City last week, I was curious how hot it was. So all things aside, this thing's a weather meter. First and foremost, it'll tell you the humidity, temperature, altitude, pressure, all that stuff. Um, from there, uh, you can kind of switch your modes. So there's different modes. And right now I'm putting it into ballistics mode. It wasn't weather, now it's in ballistics. And from here, you can see the last shot that I had on this thing, it's still set up from the last time I used it, was 640 yards. Um, and from my uh, bullet that I put in there, we're looking at uh, 3.75 mils up. And for the wind value that I did have, it's 0.3 to 0.7, depending on the gust you get. Um, so how does all that work? So when you get one of these out of the box, you take your, your bullet and its velocity, its ballistic coefficient, all that, you put it into this. Uh, you can do it via the app. It's much easier to do than straight into the uh, device itself, but you can do it just in the device. Um, once you have all that in there, um, it basically is computing for you. So it knows how fast your bullet's moving, how much it weighs, the ballistic coefficient. Um, it's running applied ballistics, so you can get applied ballistic custom drag curves for these things. Um, basically, it's just like a more accurate drag model as compared to just one static number that doesn't change based on the bullet's speed. Um, but yeah, these things are just super powerful little tools. Um, you know, once, once you get your ballistics in here for year round, you take it out and chew it. Um, and basically, by chewing it, you're going out to, you know, say a thousand yards or whatever this thing thinks is the transonic zone for your bullet where it goes from supersonic to subsonic and it'll tell you what that distance is and uh, you shoot and say this thing's telling you you need to be at 8.7 mils when in reality you're actually at 9 mils you put that in and it'll give you a corrected velocity and then what I like to do is I'll do that once, true it and then I'll try something a little further out if you can and uh, see if it's accurate. 9 times out of 10 this thing's dead on um, yeah they're just super awesome little devices and I realize, you know, not everyone's going to be shooting to 15, 1,600 yards. You know, what about if you're just an average hunter looking inside of 600 yards? Um, this device is just fine for that. You know, you can compute uh, shooting solutions very fast on the fly with this thing. Um, it's not, you know, maybe ideal. It might be a little overkill for average hunting situations. In that case, they make a smaller, cheaper model called the 2700, which we carry. And uh, it's, it's pretty inexpensive. It's 200 bucks has all the same sensors for humidity, temperature, altitude, pressure, all that good stuff. And uh, it'll give you shot solutions out to 800 yards. So one of the other things uh, that you can do with these is uh, connect them to other devices. So I used to have a SIG uh, Kila 2400 ABS. It had applied ballistics on it. Um, and it was good. But the sensors on these Kestrels I've found in practice are much better and more accurate than sensors and other uh, equipment, especially the further you go out, every little distance or every little uh, every little detail matters. And uh, these things have just really good sensors. Uh, currently, I have these Leica GeoVid 3200s. Um, this has Bluetooth. This has Bluetooth. Uh, without a phone or anything at all, you don't need a phone to do this. You can connect this to these uh, via the Bluetooth menus in each device. And uh, what's really nice is, you know, say you're out hunting uh, and you see an elk at like 800 yards, once you range it, this thing instantly transmits the range to this and it gives you a shooting solution instantly. So you know this is exactly how many mils or minutes that you need to come up uh, to hit that elk. And, you know, chances are very high you're going to hit it. 
Um, but there's a, there's a whole plethora of devices out there you can use to connect to these. Uh, Garmin makes a watch that you can connect to these things so you can get readouts on your watch. Um, definitely worth checking out if you use a range friend already. There's a good chance it's already compatible with this guy. Um, so if you're looking to improve your shooting and your shot confidence out, you know, out to distance, you definitely need to check one of these guys out. It'll really change your game and uh, you know, increase your chances of hitting at you know, extended ranges.